Hey guys, this is Prashant and welcome back to another exciting video on A360 tutorial. So guys, if you are watching my video first time, then please subscribe to the channel and press the bell button to get the latest video notifications. In this video, I am going to share knowledge on how to use the custom date formats in automation A360. So let's get started. Okay, so I have created one simple use case to check how we can use the custom date formats in automation A360. Okay, so basically this is my use case. Okay, so this is the input date which is coming in the string format. This is the uh, date and which we need to convert into this format. Okay, so based on your uh, business requirement, you can use the different different format to convert it into the output format. Okay, so that I'll show you here. Okay, so uh, uh, the input which is coming in the string format. So that is why I'm just creating one variable in a string str date. Okay. Okay, so I'll assign value to this variable. Then I'll just go to the actions and here assign from the string package. Okay. I will quickly select this date okay and the time uh, and the value so this is our input value okay so I will quickly assign this okay so in your case uh, that value might come from the excel or different different sources okay so based on your uh, convenient you can just uh, add this input here okay so but for me I have created this uh, scenario so I have just uh, assigned this value okay this is assigned and then uh, since this is coming from uh, from the string okay so just we need to convert this to the date format okay for this we will just use the assign assign um, is the action from the date time package okay so this is the date time and from here i'll just select this okay so i'll just select the enter the date time okay so i'll quickly uh, select this which is available in our variable str date okay so this is the pre-built formats okay you uh, we will have the multiple formats here based on your convenience you can select but i'm just going to uh, show you with the custom formats here okay so this is the custom formats make sure whatever the custom formats we are adding it here the custom format needs to be matched with the input date okay so this is the string date right str which we have just assigned to the str date this is ddmmyyhhmm uh, this is the format okay so this needs to be exact uh, here okay so i am just keeping dd and then mm I'm keeping M as a capital. If I'll keep in a small case, then it will consider as a uh, time so that it will fail. Okay. So make sure when we are using a month, then we need to use the always capital uh, M in a capital. Okay. And then Y, Y, Y. Okay. And the time H, H, M, M and A. Why I am keeping this A? Because the time is coming in. 12 hour format and am and pm so that is why i am just keeping a a here so that it will match okay and then i'll just select the select the destination date time variable okay so whatever the value we are assigning from string to the date time so uh, that is why we are just selecting here the date time variable yes t uh, sorry this is dt date okay all right then it is now assigned the string format is assigned to the date time format here okay once we have the date time format then we can use the two string okay this is two string sorry i'll quickly select it from the date time date time and then two string okay so this is the dt date uh, we will just select it here the date time uh, which we can select it from here and if we have the day variable then we can just select it from here okay so i am just selecting from here dt date okay and then i am selecting the custom format okay so which format you wanted to be converted okay so this is the format okay okay 12 oct uh, 12 uh, 00 uh, pm okay so that i'll just quickly uh, use here dd and then triple m because uh, this is the oct okay so uh, the, uh, so that is why i'm just selecting as a uh, three time m and then 
uh, HH, MM, and A. I will quickly check whether this is matching. Okay, so DD, 3 times M, HH, MM, A. That's fine. Okay, and that I will just assign to one string variable. str date, date formatted. Okay, save this. All right. Okay, so I'll just use the message box to print this. All right, and then I'll quickly select this variable which we have just converted str date format. Okay, save this. Okay, I'll quickly run this. All right, so I'll just match the outcome. Okay, so here you can see 12 OCT, 12 PM. Okay, I'll close this. All right, it's done. Okay, so now we might have the different requirement with the output. Okay, so here I want only the 20, uh, 12 OCT and then, yeah, only 12 OCT, otherwise we need 12 10 okay if uh, one of the business requirement we need to create a folder based on some uh, dd and mm then we can use uh, such scenarios okay so uh, i'll just use this 12 10 okay so for this what i'll do it here uh, 12 10 i'll quickly remove this dd and mm okay save this and i'll quickly run again Okay, so here you can see uh, this is 1210. Okay, so based on your requirement, uh, there might be the multiple scenarios and uh, those you can use. Sometimes you wanted to uh, get only the year, sometimes you wanted to uh, get only the uh, month, then we can just use the uh, like this. I'll quickly show this uh, here. Just I want the year, then I can use uh, y, 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 y. Okay, and then run this. All right, so here you can see only year is printed it here. Okay. All right, guys, this is all about the custom dates which we can use in the automation A360. So, guys, if this video is really helping to you, then please subscribe to the channel so that uh, this will be really motivated to me to create the new contents. Thank you.